morning. How is everyone today? I hope you're doing well. My name is Jennifer Lane and I am the Director of Children and Youth Ministries at Mount Pleasant First United Methodist Church in Michigan. And we are so glad that you're with us today, wherever you're joining us from. We are going to learn today about um, a very special person named Moses. And um, Moses had awesome, amazing things happen to him throughout his life. Um, he was, God was talking through him and would talk directly to him. So as you can imagine, these things were really awesome. But initially Moses didn't realize that God was trying to um, talk to him. And so God went about it in a very amazing and awesome um, way. Now, you know I overuse the word awesome a lot, but we're actually talking about things that um, inspire awe. And um, if you look at this young man in the picture here, he is, he is looking at things. You might feel that way when you go see the fireworks. You might have awe and think this is so amazing. How do they ever do that? Or you might have awe when you feel really afraid and you're not sure what somebody is um, doing or decisions that they're making. You can have awe for that too. So sometimes awe is a very positive thing and sometimes it can be a bit scary because it, it's so overwhelming, awe is. But we are um, looking at the word awe and thinking about God. And um, we often think of the word awe as inspiring us um, to wonder and to be creative. And um, that is certainly the case in today's story. Now, I have a clue for you on today's story. And um, it's in my box of wonder. Ooh, do you hear that clunk? Ooh, that's something sort of heavy. Um, I, I shouldn't bang it up too much because it could break. Um, and it's something that gives light. Um, do you think you might know what it is? Let's take a look. This is something I just thought of that. You might have one thing in your mind. This is something that usually you have to put a flame to. You have to light it um, yourself. And it's a candle. You're right. Now this candle does not need um, a lighter or anything. It's one of those so you can turn it on on the bottom. Um, so this does not have a flame to it exactly, um, but today's story does have a flame, a big flame. Um, and let's hear our story from our book of wonder. So this is our Celebrate Wonder um, Bible storybook. And if you look down below, um, or in the description, you will find um, the information on um, how you can get your own copy of this book if you'd like. This is we're from the second book of the Bible again, and um, called Exodus, and we're reading from Exodus 2.11 um, through 3.22. So it's a pretty big section. Now, of course, we're in our story Bible, so it's, it's narrowed it down to just the story for us. But for my older kids, I really think that it's a great idea that you open up, whether you have a new revised standard version, or maybe you have a reader's version of the Bible, and, and read the story yourself. Um, but this is our story today. Moses grew up. Remember, he was a baby last time, and he was sent down in a river um, to save him. Um, but now he's grown up. He saw the way the Egyptians were treating the Israelites as slaves. Moses did not like the way the Egyptians were hurting the Israelites, Moses' people. Moses got mad and hurt an Egyptian. He got scared, so he ran away to um, Midian, and he was a shepherd and cared for sheep. He got married and had a family. One day Moses was taking care of the sheep when God appeared to Moses as a burning bush. Moses saw the flames in the bush, but the bush 
did not burn. God called out to him, I am God. I have seen my people and have heard their cries. I have come to rescue them. I am sending you to set my people free. Can you imagine? So you go and you see a bush and it's on fire, but it's not burning up. And then you hear God's voice telling you that God is sending you, you, to set his people free. That would be, uh, I would be full of awe and I would be afraid and I would feel nervous and I would think that I am not good enough to do that. And that's exactly how Moses felt. Listen, he says, who am I to do that? Asked Moses. And then listen to what God said. I will be with you, Moses. You will go to the Pharaoh and tell him to set the Israelite people free. So, oh my goodness, that would be so frightening, wouldn't it? Remember, the Pharaoh has long, um, it's been like 400 years since Joseph. And so the Pharaoh that's there now is a completely different king. And that king has long ago forgotten about um, Joseph. So that is not helping Moses at all. The Pharaoh that's there now is a, is a cruel ruler that would kill babies um, to protect his own kingdom. Um, and so Moses must be very afraid. Sometimes we're really afraid too. And it's hard for us to do what needs to be done. But I want you to remember something so important, and it's probably the most important thing here. And remember what God says to Moses, I will be with you. Know that God is always with you. God is in your heart, and God is always looking out. That Holy Spirit is inside of your heart and looking out after you and taking care of you. And you are going to be fine. Whatever God calls you to do, God is going to be with you. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy, and it doesn't mean that it's not going to be scary, but it does mean that God is with you. And so if God is with you, there is nobody that can put you aside. And God is always with you. So my friends, I hope you remember that as you go into the day. If you look down below, you'll find some activity sheets for today. You'll um, find a video for today. Um, I've had trouble posting the videos with um, these videos, so sometimes look um, on the post above it and you'll usually find it. Um, and I also have a, a really fun craft um, that you might like to do too. So you look in, your, um, in, your, uh, in the activities and see what intrigues you and how you would like to um, further learn about Moses. Um, pray with me, please. Oh Lord, we are so grateful. We are so grateful and thankful that you are with us. Lord, we want to do what you are calling us to do. And we are so grateful for the reminder that you are with us always to do those things. And all these things we pray in your most glorious name. And all the children said, amen, amen. And for those mom and dads that are watching with us too, you too are children of God. I am a child of God. We are all children of God. So you can always join in with us when we say amen. So one more time, amen. Have a blessed day. Go outside. Enjoy the beautiful weather outside. Um, go for a curiosity walk. See what things are you're curious about. And then come back as a family and um, do some research. Um, maybe you can learn about those things that you were curious about. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.